sometimes it's difficult to teach Shijo, but one thing we should realize is that these rhythms we're talking about in Shijo are not unnatural rhythms. They're very natural rhythms, natural to our normal speech patterns. And one way to understand this is to take some other speech, other poetry, or even non-poetry, and I call it shijoizing. Make a shijo out of this other poem. And here's one that I like. Uh, I'm a fan of Broadway music. And there's a, a, mu a musical called Showboat. that has a beautiful love song in it called only make believe and it's only make believe i love you only make believe that you love me okay that makes a shijo line only make believe that i love you only make believe that you love me there's your first line of your shijo four segments others find peace of mind in pretending couldn't i couldn't you in the real song it has one more it says couldn't we but that doesn't fit our shijo rhythm. We're shijoizing. So others find peace of mind in pretending. Couldn't I, or couldn't you, couldn't I make believe I love you? Then the final line, might as well make believe I love you. For to tell the truth, I do. So that's a beautiful song from Broadway. Might as well make believe I love you. For to tell the truth, I do. Now, isn't that beautiful? And it's a beautiful song, beautiful rhythm, and it works in a shijo as well as in uh, the Broadway song. Now, here's an interesting one. Uh, you'll recognize this. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. We are now engaged in a great civil war. So that's taking one of the most famous pieces of English literature, English speech, and making a shijo of it. So this Gettysburg Address can be seen as segments of a shijo. These are natural rhythms, not only in poetry, but also in speech. And, well, they say that one of the greatest pieces of poetry in the English language is the Gettysburg Address. Even though it's a piece of prose, it is so poetic in its rhythms and it's, it's just beautiful. So look at it as a shijo. It may not fit exactly, but it's pretty close and gives you a feel for the rhythm of, these, uh, of, the, of the shijo. Um, you could also look at some of these songs that we sing, patriotic songs. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountain majesties above the fruited plain. America, America, God shed his grace on thee from sea to shining sea. So we made a shijo out of uh, an American anthem. Um, the, uh, one of the most beautiful songs again from Broadway is uh, from Wizard of Oz. Somewhere over the rainbow, somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there's a land that I heard of once in a lullaby. Somewhere over the rainbow, blue birds fly. Birds fly over the rainbow. Why then, oh, why can't I? That one's perfect. I didn't make any modification of that. The Gettysburg Address, I had to modify just a little bit. I said fathers instead of forefathers. I don't know if you caught that, <laughs> but just to fit the meter. But this one is perfect. And it shows you that the shijo is a very natural, very beautiful sort of a rhythm. And so uh, if you're having trouble teaching uh, shijo, uh, make sure the students understand this is not an unnatural rhythm. It's a very natural sort of poetic, flowing, beautiful rhythm. Several uh, years ago, I got a GPS. And I uh, have the potential of putting like 30 different voices in it, male voices, female voices, different accents. And I put a uh, British accent in. I had a British person speaking in the voice of my GPS. And they would say, turn left in 400 yards. And in British, they say yards. Now, if you study Chinese, like I have, yards is a fourth tone. So I said to my uh, a colleague who's a linguistics professor, I said, oh boy, British English is full of tones. 
thinking that I had really discovered something. Yards, fourth tone. And he looked at me and said, you don't think English is? You don't think American English is? <laughs> and you know, I'm saying that British English is full of tones. And he's saying, American English is full of tones, rhythm, pace. That's why when we teach children to read and write, we read nursery rhymes so they can feel the rhythm of it. It's a very natural sort of thing. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece were white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. These are natural rhythms that we teach children. They're saying these days in the modern internet age, the children aren't learning nursery rhymes. And as if you don't learn nursery rhymes, you don't get this natural feeling. Well, the point is, for Shijo, there's a natural rhythm to it. And to feel the natural rhythm, this is not a strange, contrived kind of thing. It's a very natural sort of thing. So if a student can relax and feel the rhythm of the story they're trying to tell, of the emotion they're trying to, to convey in this poetry, then it'll work. Relax and enjoy the pure rhythm of the thing. Mm -hmm.